Now here we're going to look at drip irrigation in injector options for fertilizer. So this is an example of a field that I set up here with drip irrigation. This is about 10,000 square feet. And this is a mini dose, which is a fertilizer injector with a filter here, allowing me to fertigate this entire area if I choose to do so. So the drip irrigation and injector. Well, the drip tapes allow for efficient watering and low evaporation percentage, mainly because it's coming in direct contact with the soil. The injector allows for precise nutrient application. So we see here another example here. We're having the bucket where the concentrated fertilizer would be added. And as the water passes through, it will then be um, added with a very precise amount that can be calculated of fertilizer. Now the drip tapes come in different thicknesses. If you are to standardize your rows, the thicker can be more cost effective because you can use it over multiple years. Uh, six mil is considered uh, one season use and that's typically used under plastic mulch and as minimum insect resistance uh, as it can break down. Eight mil is commonly used for vegetable crops and that's also commonly used for one season but it's a little bit thicker, just a little bit tougher. Ten mil is used in heavy rock areas where crops can overwinter, such as strawberries and the 15 mil will give you multi-year use there. Now drip tapes have different flow rates uh, and emitter spacings that allow you to customize it for your application. This can determine the feet of tape you can run at once, or you can adjust the tapes and flow rate to match your gallons per minute of the equipment you're allowed to supply. So do you have a large pump that can supply a lot of water very quickly, or do you have a lower flow pump that you need to apply it in a more gentle sense? So this is just one example. You can pause the video here to look at some of the details. But what this basically comes down to is this gives you the situations. I'm assuming a 12 inch emitter spacing uh, per 100 feet at 8 PSI. Looking at seven gallons per minute, that's what the pump can supply. You wanna add about 400 gallons of water in about 1,500 feet. Now there's two examples of drip tape here. This one flows at 13 gallons per hour per 100 feet. And this one flows quicker at 27 gallons per hour per 100 feet. So what it comes down to is in order to deliver that same 400 gallons of water, this example drip tape running 1,500 feet will need to run for two hours. And this drip, drip, this drip tape flowing at a quicker rate would only need to run for one hour to get the same 400 gallons. So it takes a little bit of math kind of going through and figuring it out. It's not that complicated. Uh, but this would be a good thing just to kind of go over and determine what constraints you have for your particular system because that can impact what drip tape and flow rate you would purchase. Now the injector allows for the precise amount of liquid fertilizer to be added at the same time as the irrigation. If you're going to irrigate anyway, you might as well go through and uh, have the option to add some fertilizer to it. Dosatron is a name brand. Uh, I use uh, mini dose. There's dosmatic, there's other different types of injectors. Dosatron, though, is used a lot in greenhouses in a term you might have heard before. The injector can be used as needed and moved to other zones in the field. It can be put on a cart here. It can provide a quick fix, especially for growing potted plants or even row crops. Uh, just a good way to supplement in fertilizer when you're going to naturally irrigate anyway. Lastly, there's something called a Mazzy injector, which is a less expensive alternative to the Dosatron or Dosmatic. Uh, there's no moving parts. It works with the Venturi effect. So if you remember carburetors, uh, it works on the same principle. Where we have this little bit of a squeeze here and restriction in flow, increasing the speed, allowing the um, water to be sucked up through the pipe here. You do lose pressure with this, so that is one drawback to it. But there's no moving parts. It's very simple, easy to put in and add, uh, just something else to consider, another way to be able to fertigate for your crops.